Today we are playing Ratchet and Clank. So you said you never played the reboot? Never played the reboot, but I have played it on the PS2 fallback. Yeah, I, I, I remember playing one game on a PS2 demo disc, but I remember playing this. I ran this when it first came out. I loved it. So, anyway, uh, let's begin. Yeah, we're going to start a new game. And Velden. Aluro City Penitentiary Planet Port Curl. Open up on seven. Kerwin. Curl. Yeah. Well, Kerwin does sound better. <laughs> it does sound. <laughs> Move it out, Shiv. Oh, 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 yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv. Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits of the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. Everyone says this is like a pit song video game or something. You'll like this part. I, I probably sure you'll get some giggles out of this. Yeah, I probably will. Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get wow. out of here. Someone wants to be I was arrested by someone. Good. That's weird. I wouldn't want to yes, be arrested Captain. by anybody. So, <laughs> new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt. So he'll be telling Bill. this story I'm about a Ratchet huge and Clank. Fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that lawn bags. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like how like all CG. Is, like, it's really no, good. No, I mean the game. Yeah, it's it's yeah. based we're, on the Hollow Yeah, film. we're trying a different camera. Here's my confirmation camera. Email. We're trying I'm to, it mag ship to prison. show it, get a good close of it. Yeah, this is pretty good. So They're far. making a game based on the Hollow film, based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring Thirsty. public in this like forsaken to place yeah. too long. Yeah, and now, <laughs> no one will ever hear no, my side. Live streaming. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. Ratchet and Clank. Think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Does that ship look? Come on, give it a spin. What I'm saying is, he, he's like he's trying to become the, like have his dream to become the Galactic Ranger. Yep, okay. pretty much. Most of that. It's like they did do it in the old look game. I think, I, I don't know if they did because I I never played the first one. Yep, left side I don't looks remember. good. Oh, but, yeah. They even had a. You remember when this game came out? They had a movie came out with it too. Did yeah, like it, it was on theaters, but it didn't do really good. I didn't think so. They, like everyone was calling it was called a good movie license game or something. Yep, we're good. The news says the tryout tryout a lot of out at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. Except for Ralph, the, Ralph, breaking Ralph. I mean, those kind of those movies too. But, yeah, there's talks about them rebooting the Resident Evil game or something like that. Yeah, trying to make Resident Evil movies. Yeah, that's what I'm at. All right, and yeah, this game looks smooth. Ratchet smashed his enemies using his trusty Omni wrench. You're good. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. So, what's up here? 
Disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe yes. to save enough bombs to reach by a new weapon. Well, back to the request, back to the subject of like you know, video story. games turn like the movies. Yeah. Yeah, but like think about the, like the whole Uncharted films. Well, they they, they are going to make an Uncharted film. I think Tom Holland, the guy who plays, Tom Holland. yeah, yeah, he's going to play as Nathan Drake, but. They, they said it's going to be, but I think last time I heard it was delayed again or something because they had to find a new director. It keeps losing directors. But not, Tom Holland probably a good, play good as Nate Drake. I mean, young actor. Yeah, he is pretty young. Pretty stuff. young for me. About, I think he's like 22 years old. You're younger than me. I'm not sure. I'm 26. So I'm really, I can't, I mean, he's wrong. I know he's in his 20s, but I do believe he's in his 20s. Yeah, pretty good young looking Spider Man. Yeah, he plays good as a, as the, uh, the young Spider Man, like teenager Spider Man. Yeah. Hello, recruit. Cora Verilux here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. Made it. A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Uh, Hop across these that. moving <laughs> platforms. Got jumped off. Have you seen me at the event? Not run up and insist on shaking hands. Fighting, oh, you didn't get these. Uh, I tell you, some of these weapons are pretty awesome. The you get. Because I remember shooting like a lot of guns. Oh, yeah. And they're, all, they're all good. I mean, I, I like them all. I'm shocked. Usually I, I have my typical one game I don't like, but they're all pretty good. You got your fusion grenade. It's like a. It's pretty cool. It's like you, it's like a magnetic grenade, you just throw grenades or something. Alright, uh... Oh, okay. I thought it's an old one. Get ready to die! Ow! Solana Galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in trade. Man. Excuse me, excuse me. This guy. Uh, We've armed these dummies the with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. <laughs> Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Really? Into the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. I feel like, I feel like this is all one like like of flashback track. vision Survive of him doing this to actually become a Galactic Ranger. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's back, it's kind of, it is a flashback story, but it's told by Captain Quark. Yeah. But I feel like this is like Ratchet Club, like Ratchet's. One down. Is, you know, vision of how he becomes like Ratchet. Like, I'm thinking, like but because he does, because Captain Quark is kind of a douchebag. He just plays. He's more like a selfish dude. Was he ever like that? Do you remember? Um, that? I don't recall. I mean, I know Captain Quark was in. Yeah, I, know, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, okay. Did he ever become kind of like self obsessed or something like that? Or? I think he was self obsessed. Because I know in this one he does. Like, He's like so just because he's the best ranger, he's like famous and all that crap. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Yep. That was easy. There we go. Cutscene. Right. Mark's on oh, microphone. Seems like I hope wait a minute. I hope this is being recorded. Well, one way to find out. Well, if it's not being recorded, if we're, uh, we're recording on podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And it's only the cutscene, so.
He was doing a moonwalk. And he's got three fingers. I never understood that. I don't either. Like from cartoons, people have four fingers or three. I'm like, how do they do that? I don't know why people draw like that. I don't know. <laughs> what the world? <laughs> Woo! There we go. You'll play us that, yeah. Broadcasting can't play Mark audio because you've exited. I guess I just didn't play cutscenes. I hate it when that does. I hate it, but... Some oh. games do that. Yeah. Just run to the vent. He might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the defect, Victor. You never disappoint. People Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young Defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him, and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, Ooh. he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless Defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? <laughs> Great, thanks so far. Yeah. Something I, you know, I played it before, not the reboot, but I played the reboot. Uh, play it too, and I'm like, there you are. Wish I could actually oh play my. this game again, you know, sometimes. Quit your running, you useless piece of scrap. Here and let's settle this. Warbot to Warbot. Good, thank you. <laughs> oh no, water. Oh, yeah, they can't go in the water. But he's made it sound so weird. You know? Oh no, water. A variety of oh. Beans, but where Sorry. should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. You can run from me? Not nice. that brute again. This sounds like a really intelligent robot for his voice actor. Oh, what the? Oh, I thought I was fast. Well, first death. 
You think you can run from me? Not that rude again. Yeah. Is there a point? Yeah. This voice actor is pretty. Get back here, you miserable defect! and stuff like that. So the believe this is how Ratchet and Clank met, then. Yep. Oh, I guess, yeah, this, <laughs> this is a reboot, but... I think I played the one... When I played one of them on the PS2, they were actually already together. This wasn't how they met. Oh, really? Yeah, so I believe uh, there was another part to it. I'm not sure. I have to look it up later. <laughs> but all I know is the one I played was basically the one that they were together. I think this is like the one that they actually actually met. <laughs> huh. Must have had someone watching or something. I'm sure that on-air thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, we got one. Hi! Hope you're enjoying it. Are we on the air? Yeah, so one air, someone on air or something. Yeah, someone on air, but oh, we stopped recording. I, th I think it's because we're because we're in a cutscene. Yeah. The blocked cutscene. So I think they can still see it. They can hear us, but they just can't see this. Yeah, true. <laughs> Hey, we got two. Sweet. Oh, dang. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. All things. I see we had that too on the game. I played it. You know, the, yeah, the bolts and stuff like that. You get to upgrade your like Large upgrade guess. weapons with like a certain amount of bolts. All need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little <laughs> See, they didn't have that in the game. Oh, the so, swing yeah, swinging, but they had the, like ratchet and crank like like helicopter glide across like nice. large uh, obstacles. One time we moved the camera it's in, front of, in front of the ammo. Hmm. Oh well. Nice work. I hate it when it happens. Oh, I get you. You're going down, Lombax. Uh oh, Bark. What are they doing here? I have information in my databanks that poses a threat to Chairman Dreck. 
He must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. Ratchet is in a bad way. Hurt, confused, and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. So this. Ain't gonna win. Yep. Ha, we're gonna win. I think that's all. Down that, bud. More ammo. Uh. Whoa! Is that a Borg dropship? Correct. Model X six Z to be exact. Also known as. The dropship of death. Great. ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. What kind of factory is this? This? No, oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. I would have ever thought, I mean, he said he lived here as a kid. Yeah. I would have thought they had like a, like a backstory of the, you know, him yeah. as a kid growing up in this game. Mm-hmm. Somewhat. You know, he doesn't. Even, he doesn't even go back to that. Like I've almost been this game, but I always got stuck on the final boss. For Twenty-five minutes. Oh yeah.
Well, <laughs> yeah. But I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Wait a second, is that rare titanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. Let's use that vendor and put this to good use. Let's see, we need a. Here's where you pick your. You're gonna need rare titanium for this. All you gotta do is pick one of themselves. These That's things one of our best sellers. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. So basically, I understand you have like a skill tree, in a sense. Yeah. All right, just uh. confirm that you're in the deal. Hey, you surrounded a mystery cluster. Now that's gonna give you a big boost. That's all there is to it. Thank you. Combustor. See, I didn't. I can hardly remember this game. Kind of game. So I'm like, got a like, skill tree from this game. Pretty fun. Pyrocer, how much is it? Two thousand. Four thousand. We'll get it. Won't regret it. Like now go out and set the world on fire. A pyro sitter or something. Okay, now we just need now. Now we're go. There's you do side quest on this too. Could you do side quest on the other games too? I didn't even know nothing about it. But I was like, I played this game on PS2. I didn't really I mean, I wasn't into like my like gaming until I got to like Xbox 360 and PS4. But uh, if I would have gone back and played it on PS2, I would actually play it until it's 100 percent You can do kind of like side quests if you want to, like in each world, but they don't take long or anything. But See, that's the kind of kind of like like how games got to work. Like, what if these games have like side quests or little stories, you know, be more into the stories involved. Yeah, a lot of this stuff. Yeah, 
this game can be addictive. It can be. I just jumped and jumped and seriously, what's with all the jumping? Jumping's fun. Transmission! Who's gonna save us now? At least these oh, are the cool. I'm glad you're here. I've been... hey, at least. Hey, have we met before? I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drex Forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargian dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swabbed it from one of those Blarg soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was, caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Robot, now that our project is nearing completion, yeah. we must do I'm everything sorry. possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our Gym friendly fitness. army of warbots robot. must vanquish those oh, who would seek to stop that. us. Good news? Nah, it's just like how he was, no that robot was just like, bent so over, sit just back, stuff like that. And take comfort in the, the knowledge robots, you got that Drek like Industries really is working <laughs> for you. Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. What Did that guy just no down down. sewer pipe? Hmm. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. It's not really good at sewer. It looks like there's water. Yeah. Yeah. That was 
awesome. Wanna do it again? Oh, looks like Mayor Bugwash is in trouble. We'll <laughs> fix your ship in a bit, but right now he needs your help. We've got a combustor pistol. Whoa. Attention, citizen. You may have noticed we are in the midst of a small insignificant issue. We are working hard to contact the boss to find a peaceful resolution. But until they return our calls, it's probably best to remain. <laughs> She's the youngest recruit ever to be selected for the Galactic Rangers. I think I just made a new movie on Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but my sister, she was a sister. That, uh, I mean, I've shown a while since I've seen She had that little robot that was dressed with the, uh, girl. Yeah, the dog was dressed with the dog or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I remember seeing his he's like, I think you use pose. You know, I he always liked Pacos. Yeah, it's like, he's like, you listen to me. Oh. Don't worry, it's across the bridge. Oh, man, I thought I had a good buster. I think, oh. I, I think I ran out of ammo. Well, for the fire right, Die. No, oh, not that. Oh, I'm gonna switch. Oh, we got a health back. Oh, we did? Yeah, it's gonna start 30. Oh, huh. Maybe we leveled up. Yeah, yeah probably we did. Does he sound like it? Oh, oh dear. More of them. That must be the mayor's ship. This is a transmission for the Galactic Rangers. Please, assistance. This is Agnob Buckwash, member of the Toad Rush Quaker of Nova. Mayor yeah, Buckwash will not last that. long yeah. without our help. Dread trying to kill you. It's my nephew. Is this is fair. Does it sound like it's echoing? Wait, it's Skinny echoing. Marks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this info bot from Aridia, and the Blarg have been after echoing? me ever since. Uh, maybe a glitch Here, or take a look. Really? 
Hey, Uncle Bogwash, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia. And boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone, call my engine! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people. Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. Agreed. But we must first repair our ship. Oh, you did it! Thanks for saving the sector, friend. Now come on back and we'll see about fixing that ship. Attention, citizens. No mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a furry hero and his robot friends. I will now resume regular office hours. <laughs> And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. <laughs> I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See it's you next week. I know, right? I don't know what's causing that. I don't even know why it's echoing. It's just strange. Yeah. That's your ship. Then we Ratchet go. And Clank were delighted to we discover to that the their newly repaired ship oh, now had an upgraded Kerwin. hyperspace navigation computer. Yeah, uh, deliver the we better get to the Rangers. Rangers. We locate Skid Mark. Mark. Let's see if we can help out Skid, Skid McMark. We both got to do them, but we, choose, we just choose which one. Right. Let's see. What do I do? Excuse me. Eh, I don't know. Shoot, I don't know. Hmm. We can go back to the menu later. To Kerwin. Cur We're too late. Like the invasion has started. Yeah. Scan the so emergency channels. We need left. to find out what's happening on the ground. Attention, all units! The Hall of Heroes is under attack! Repeat! Enemy ships are now in the central district of Illyro City. Galactic Rangers are under heavy fire at the Hall of Heroes. And there's a Flark transport closing in fast. Brace for Warbot reinforcements, Rangers. All civilians, evacuate the area. We must assist the Galactic Rangers, activating weapon systems. Weapons online. You may now attack the transport.
I believe it would penetrate the hull. Awesome. And uh, how do we do that? Your weapon package includes a mag booster. I am rewriting the software to isolate the Warbot's armor. Ah, there. You should now be able to pick up Warbots using the mag booster. Okay, let's try this out. Mag booster! There should be some Warbots nearby. You can now pick them up and pull them toward the warship. Ouch. All right. systems operational, but we should get back to the Hall of Heroes. Hey, Ratchet, where'd you go? We're supposed to start your training in a few minutes. Sorry, Brax. Clank and I ran into a bit of, uh, ship trouble. Looks like there's still a few blarg in the city. We must have missed them during our sleep up the perimeter. Brax, you better check the Hall of Heroes and make sure they didn't make it inside. Copy that. In the meantime, there's a friend not far from your position who can help you out. His name's Al. I was yeah. gonna wait until after training to introduce you, All but right, now's as on. good a time All right, as... Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna end this episode right here. So, uh, I think next time, like, we may do a different game just to, you know, wrap, you know, that way we're gonna get a little, just make different things up a little bit. But we're gonna try a different couple of experience how to record our gameplay and stuff like that, you know. So, but if you liked our, our, if you're on YouTube and you liked it, like our 
like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and if you like the... the if, if you like the podcast, join us up on our podcast page on Facebook, Devil and Friends Gaming Podcast. We'll leave a link down in the description below. See you later, guys. Devo and Friends, out.